Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV coming back at you to put you on to another underrated disc from a lineup you may not have heard of quite yet. Today we've got another disc from Momentum Discs. Um, it's kind of the sequel to their 9-speed that I was a huge enjoyer of, the Impetus. It's like a 9.6 minus 2.2, flew just like an absolute beauty, like beat-in sidewinder right out of the box. Today we've got their new mold called the Dispatch, clocking in at I think a 10, six or seven minus 0.53 and this disc is designed to be extremely glidey but also extremely reliable and i've got two discs here that i feel like have very similar profiles to the dispatch so we've got some pretty sweet colors from momentum very unique looking discs and i'll show you what we're going to be comparing them to today so we've got the dispatch here you can see we've got kind of like a slightly increased shoulder angle Thunderbird-ish looking disc, but then it's slightly wider than a Thunderbird. But I think this flies like a slightly longer and straighter Thunderbird in my opinion. So I've got two of these with the special um, like woodsy stamp. We're gonna be comparing it to the legendary $1.50 Avenger SS, which is a very similar profile. And then also we have the an Opto Glimmer Saint here, which for me flies very similar to a Thunderbird. It's quite a stable saint. So we'll be comparing the dispatches to some of these other options here. You can see some slight differences here, but they are quite similar across the board. In my humble opinion, I'm sure I'll get roasted in the comments down below as I usually do, but let's give everything a throw. We're gonna lead the charge with an absolute staple in all players bag, the $1.50 Avenger SS. Beauty. I mean, I know, I mean, you guys would buy that for $1.50, wouldn't you? I know I would. Now we've got the Saint here, a little more stable. The Saint is something I've really been enjoying, just kind of flies like an extra glidey Thunderbird for me. And then these fly a little more stable than the Avenger, but a little less stable than the Saint. So first throw, dispatch. So nice flip, and then a ride. They go really, really far. That went 30 feet farther than both of the other discs. Now we'll throw the blue guy here. Oh, I got over on it. All right, we're gonna have to go find that blue one. Let's go through everything a few more times. So we saw two very different flights. <laughs> one I threw way too flat. Um, they have a good bit of turn to them, which is really nice to have a disc that'll actually flip up and turn for you right out of the box. But you saw the first shot on a slight hyzer, picked up, turned, went really, really far and held that angle for a long time and then had a little bit of integrity to sort of come out at the end. But that's the beauty of a good 10 speed is you can get those longer, straighter, mid-range style lines, but you can put them, you know, 70 or 80 feet farther um, depending on who you are and how hard you throw. So we're going to grab them. We'll throw everything back. Really liking that disc so far. I played a few rounds with it. It's a super fun and super useful disc. A lot of you guys probably haven't gotten to see what it actually looks like down here. If I turn them over too much, the water's pretty low right now, but there's a secret little river back here. Thankfully, we did not find the river today. Yeah, heads up. Thank you. All right, we'll go with the same order. We're going to go with the $1.50 boy, the Saint, and then the two dispatches. So Avenger SS is making a case to go in the bag for sure. That thing is an absolute beauty. Then we've got the Saint, a touch more stable. That's Saint. Also, that's gone right into my main bag. And then we've got these two dispatches here. Think like beaten orc super beaten thunderbird just an absolute gem of a 10 speed we got one more here this blue one's definitely flippier than the red one oh i definitely get over on that one a bit too much 
It went so far, but so far to the right. Let's grab everything. We'll throw them out one more time. And we'll wrap up the video. All right, I think my camera's about to overheat and explode into a million pieces. So we're gonna throw everything one last time. I'm having fun with this $1.50 Avenger as well. Should I should I bag the $1.50? Comment below. Oh, she's not that flippy. Not making a good case for it on that one. Yikes. And the Saint is already in my full main bag full time. Been really loving the Saint. It's like not quite as stable as a Thunderbird, but because I don't have like touring pro level arm speed, it just flies like an absolute gem for me. It seems to be the blue dispatch is substantially flippier. So I'm gonna throw it on that Avenger line up on the left side of the fairway and see if we can shape it a bit. Well, that's not shaped. Not sure what it is about that blue one. I just haven't gotten along with it since I got it. But this one, the red is definitely more stable. So if you have a faster arm, get a red. If you have a slower arm, get a blue. Let's see if she can hyzer flip. Oh, that's dangerous. It's one of those discs that it will turn and fade. So you need to give it height, trust it to get that full shot shape, but it will come back at the end as long as you give it the height required. Very similar to putters and mid ranges. Um, it's definitely a disc I'm gonna continue to enjoy and mess around with. Um, obviously the Saint is goaded and the $1.50 Avenger also goaded. So it was a tough day to compare it to you know, two Titans of 10 speeds. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Shout out to Momentum Discs and the Dispatch. I think it's a really fun disc that's worth trying. If you like throwing like a super beaten orc, super beaten Thunderbird, or you just don't have a 10 speed that you feel like you can throw really far, that's gonna be the one to get you there. So comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.